Hello and welcome coders to the Sky Coding. So now in today's session we will discuss about data sampling in Snowflake. And talking about the previous session, so in the previous session we have covered JSON processing. We have seen how to load the JSON data from the external stages as well as internal stages. And we have done all of the JSON processing of array type of data, nested data, flattening, and lateral underscore uh, flatten function and parse underscore JSON function, object construct, and array arguments. We have seen lots of examples of the json processing only okay so if you haven't watched my those sessions so the link will be given in the description box you can watch those sessions okay so now without wasting any time let's get started and let's understand about data sampling is in snowflake okay what is data sampling and why data sampling concept came into the snowflake okay so let's move ahead and let's understand uh, concepts of the data sampling then we will do the practical okay that how can we get the sample of the data okay so what is data sampling okay so the, the data sampling is just uh, you can say that suppose that there is a one table and it that table is having one million records okay and you want to uh, suppose that that there is a requirement and you want thousands of records from that 1 million of records okay so how can you get that sample of the data suppose that whenever you will query a 1 million full record then you can this is not possible that you can just analyze full 1 million records okay so for, so for sampling for some sample of the data you can just use the sampling methods which is a row and block methods which are available to us in the snowflake you can use these methods for just getting some of the data from that uh, 1 million records okay means you are just extracting some part of the data from that 1 million records okay so this is basically the data sampling okay so now let's uh, read these points which are available to us then we will better understand this concept of data sampling okay so basically selecting a part of data or subset of records from a table is called a data sampling as i have told you and given you the example suppose that you want to extract the thousand rows from that 1 million records which are available into the table and you are uh, extracting the thousand records for just for the sample or for analysis or for testing so this is basically the data sampling okay and uh, the use of the data sampling you can do the data sampling for the query building testing data analysis or better understanding of the data okay suppose that there is a one testing team and he wants to do uh, some of the testing on the some of the data which is available in the table there is 1 million records in the table and there is a testing team he wants to test some data so he will use the uh, sampling method and he can just query some parts of the data suppose that thousand recalls a thousand rows two thousand or fifty thousand rows from that one million records and he can do the uh, testing over that data by using this data sampling okay so this is basically the data sampling uh, advantages you can say okay and data sampling is also used on the data analysis or understanding okay suppose that there is an analyst team marketing analyst team and he wants to analyze the market requirements he wants to analyze the data in that table okay so he will just query some of the 10 percent of the data 20 percent of the data 30 percent of the data then he can just do the analysis on that big data which is available on the table okay so these are basically the some of the pros you can say advantages of the data sampling okay and data sampling is useful in the dev environment where we use small warehouses and occupy a less storage okay suppose that you are working on a very uh, small warehouse x small warehouses and you want to uh, access the data which uh, from any of the table which is having suppose that uh, 1 million records okay and you want to query the data from that 1 million records okay and whenever you will not working with the data sampling whenever you will query the 1 million records okay and you are using a small warehouse okay and then there will be more compute cost and the storage cost will be there okay if you will not use this data sampling method and you you are just querying the 1 million records in one go from that table okay then compute cost will also be very high and that uh, uh, storage cost will also be very high so in this uh, scenario you can use the data sampling whenever you are working with the small warehouses you can just use the data sampling and you can just uh, query so and extract some part of the data from the big data table the table which is having a big data suppose that 1 million records and you can just just query 1000 rows, 50,000 rows, 20,000 rows from that table for just your developer environment or while working with the small warehouses. So if you will use this data sampling method for just query and extract the data from the big data table, then your cost will be also very less and compute cost will also be very less and compute as well as storage cost will also be less. Okay, So in this scenario, you can use the data sampling method while working with the small warehouses. Okay, And there is a one more concept for the limit. Okay? 
ओके एज यू हैव इफ यू हैव वर्क विद द एसक्यूएल देन यू हैव सीन दिस लिमिट की ओके यू कैन जस्ट यूज द लिमिट की वर्ड एज सपोज दैट यू हैव थाउजेंड रोज इन एनी ऑफ द टेबल देन यू कैन सपोज दैट यू वॉन्ट टू क्वेरी हंड्रेड रोज फ्रॉम दैट टेबल फ्रॉम दैट थाउजेंड रोज ओके सो यू कैन जस्ट गिव लिमिट एज हंड्रेड देन यू विल जस्ट बी एबल टू क्वेरी द हंड्रेड रिकॉल्स फ्रॉम दैट थाउजेंड रोज ओके यू कैन यूज द लिमिट एज वेल ओके वी हैव सीन इन दाइल वर्किंग विद द रिलेशनल डेटा बेस ओके सो दिस इज बेसिकली द डेटा डेटा सैम्पलिंग एडवांटेजेस ओके एंड वी कैन सैंपल अ फ्रैक्शन ऑफ परसेंटेज रोज और वी कैन सैंपल अ फिक्स नंबर ऑफ रोज ओके Uh, suppose that you have a one table and it is having a thousand rows. Okay, let's take a not big data. Let's take some of the small data. Then we will better understand this thing. Okay, so suppose that you have thousand rows in any of the table and you want to query ten percent of the data. Okay, so ten uh, percent of the thousand is a uh, one hundred. Uh, okay, so whenever you will give like that, uh, I want a sample for ten uh, percent of the thousand rows. So ten uh, percent of the thousand is hundred. Okay, so you will be able to just get hundred rows there. Okay, there. is approx data means you can get 100 100 10 or 90 or 95 like that you will get okay and we can also uh, get the data for the fixed number of rows suppose that you have a 1000 rows and you want 500 rows from that 1000 rows from the table okay so how can we query this data you can just write uh, sample and you can write in the bracket that 500 rows or 100 rows okay then you can by using this fixed number of rows you can just query uh, 500 rows 10 100 rows 200 rows whatever you like you can just query the data by using this uh, fixed number of rows you want uh, suppose that 100 rows only so you can write 100 rows okay we will uh, better understand this thing when we will do the practical and understand about that uh, data sampling okay so now this is all about the data sampling and now let's move ahead and let's see that what are the methods which are available to us in the data sampling okay there are basically two methods sampling methods which are available to us in the snowflake first one is the bernoulli or row and the second one is system or the block okay you can call it bernoulli or you can call it as a row or you can call system as a system or you can call it as a block okay you can use any of the words so okay? you can use bernoulli or row you can use system or block okay so now we will be just using for bernoulli we will use row and for the system we will use block okay so you can just recognize these things okay so now let's read the points okay bernoulli or row where the probability of Including a row is p by hundred percent, and here in the system or block, where the probability of including a block is p by hundred percent only. Okay, so what's the difference between these uh, two row and block? There, uh, these two methods are available to us for sampling in Snowflake. Then what is the difference? Every every method is giving p by hundred. This is there is a probability whenever you will work with the row or block, you will just get p by hundred of uh, that data. Okay, and we can say this gives an almost p percent of data. and we can say this gives almost p percent of blocks okay? and it is good for larger tables and it is good for the smaller tables okay so whenever you are working with the sum of the smaller tables okay then you can use this bernoulli or row method okay and whenever you want to query the data from the big data means suppose that there is a very big table and it is having a very big data so you can use the system or block method for just uh, getting the samples or uh, or just uh, Uh, extracting some of the data from that table okay and uh, let me tell you one most important thing okay? whenever you will not specify any of the sampling method then by default bernoulli or row will be applied and suppose that uh, there is a basically the syntax select a string from table and after that you write sample keyword and after that in the bracket you write 10% 20% or fixed rows like that okay So whenever you will not specify any of the method, then by default Bernoulli or you can say row will be applied on that query. Okay, so this is basically the very important thing. Okay, by default which method will be applied? Bernoulli or row method will be applied. Okay, so the difference is whenever you are dealing with the smaller tables, you can just try with this Bernoulli or row. This is basically this will be just very suitable while working with the smaller tables. Okay, Bernoulli or row it will also work for the larger tables as well. Okay, but it is better to use this Bernoulli method for For the smaller tables and system or block method for the larger tables. Okay, system or block method will also work for the smaller tables, but it's better to use this Bernoulli method. Okay, and we can say this gives almost p percent of the data, and this all this gives p percent of the blocks. Okay, suppose that you have a hundred rows over that table or any of the table. Okay, and whenever you will query like sample, I want a sample for the ten percent of the data from the hundred. Okay, so it will just return you whenever you will work with the Bernoulli or row. Then it will just return you ten percent of the data from the hundred. Ten percent of hundred is 
టెన్ రోజ్ ఓకే సో ఇట్ విల్ జస్ట్ గివ్ యూ అప్రాక్స్ టెన్ రోజ్ టెన్ రోజ్ ఆర్ ఇట్ కెన్ గివ్ టెన్ రోజ్ ఇలెవెన్ రోజ్ ఆర్ ఇట్ కెన్ గివ్ నైన్ రోజ్ దేర్ ఈస్ అప్రాక్స్ వన్ టూ డిఫరెన్స్ ఈజ్ ఓకే బట్ ఇట్ విల్ జస్ట్ గివ్ యూ అప్రాక్స్ టైప్ ఆఫ్ వట్ ఎవర్ ఫ్రాక్షన్ ఆఫ్ ద డేటా యూ యూ ఆర్ ఎక్స్ట్రాక్టింగ్ ఇట్ విల్ గివ్ యూ అప్రాక్స్ డేటా ఓకే అండ్ వెన్ ఎవర్ యూ విల్ వర్కింగ్ విత్ ద బ్లాక్ సో ఇట్ విల్ జస్ట్ రిటర్న్ యూ బ్లాక్ ఆఫ్ ద డేటా మీన్స్ హియర్ ఇట్ ఈస్ జస్ట్ రిటర్నింగ్ యూ పీ పర్సెంట్ ఆఫ్ ద రోజ్ ఈచ్ రో ఇట్ విల్ స్కిన్ అండ్ ఇట్ విల్ రిటర్న్ యూ ఫ్రాక్షన్ ఆఫ్ ద రోజ్ ఓకే but while working with the block it will just return you p percent of the blocks there are some of the blocks and the micro partitions which is internally generated by the snowflake and whenever suppose that there is a 100 table then there are some of the micro partitions and some of the blocks which are in which data is being stored okay so whenever you will just query the data by using the sampling method block then it will just return you p percent of the sum of the blocks okay there is a probability of this thing okay and we will better understand this thing when we will do the practical and that's all for this concept and we will better understand when we will do the practical okay so now let's uh, see one example okay so for example if a table contains 4 million records stored in the 600 micro partitions and i i need 10% of data for my testing okay there is a one table which is having a 4 million records stored in the 600 uh, 600 uh, micro partitions okay and you want uh, 10% of the data so whenever you will use this bernoulli or row it will fetch the 40 uh, 10% so that you are just uh, means extracting 10% of the data so for the 4 million records 10% is 4 lakh rows so it will return 4 lakh rows okay and whenever you will use this block or system method then it will fetch the టెన్ పర్సెంట్ ఆఫ్ సిక్స్ హండ్రెడ్ మైక్రో పార్టిసన్స్ విల్ బి సిక్స్ మార్ట్ మైక్రో పార్టిసన్స్ ఓకే దెర్ ఈస్ అ మైక్రో పార్టిసన్స్ వీ హ్యావ్ డిస్కస్ దిస్ మైక్రో పార్టిసన్స్ అండ్ ఆల్ దోస్ థింగ్ కంప్యూట్ లేయర్ స్టోరేజ్ లేయర్ అండ్ ద స్ట్రక్చర్ వీడియో ఓకే దేర్ యూ కెన్ బెటర్ అండర్స్టాండ్ దట్ వాట్ ఈస్ మైక్రో పార్టిసన్ అండ్ క్లస్టరింగ్ అండ్ ఆల్ దోస్ థింగ్స్ అవైలబుల్ ఇన్ ద స్ట్రక్చర్ ఆఫ్ ద స్నో ప్లేక్ ఓకే సో దెర్ ఈస్ అ ఫోర్ మిలియన్ రికార్డ్స్ విచ్ ఆర్ స్టోర్డ్ ఇన్ ద సిక్స్ హండ్రెడ్ మైక్రో పార్టిసన్స్ అండ్ అండ్ యూ వాంట్ టు క్వైరీ ద డేటా ఫర్ ద టెన్ పర్సెంట్ ఓకే సో ఇఫ్ యూ విల్ యూస్ దిస్ బర్నోలి ఆర్ ఇట్ విల్ fetch the 10% of the 4 million records okay so 10% of 4 million will be 4 lakh rows so it will just return you 4 lakh rows approx okay and whenever you will deal with this block or system then it will fetch 10% of 600 micro partitions will be 60 micro partitions okay so this is basically the difference between Bernoulli or the system okay we will better understand when we will do the practical okay so now let's uh, move ahead and let's see the syntax okay so now let's see the syntax that how can you use this sampling methods okay and there is a one more keyword instead of the sampling method that is Bernoulli row sample block there is a one more keyword that is repeatable or seed we will discuss that thing okay suppose that you want to query some of the data from any of the table okay so you can just write select query select asterisk or any of the column from table name you can give and after that you can give sample or you can give the table sample you can write the sample keyword or you can write the table sample both will work okay you can see i have given this pipe symbol this is means you can use either sample or you can use table uh, table sample any of the keyword you can use okay and after that you have to write the sampling method okay suppose that you want to use the sampling method bernoulli or so you can write type here bernoulli or row and you can just write the probability suppose that you want a 10 percent so you can write write 10 or suppose that you want to work with the fixed number of rows so you can write number of rows and repeatable or seed okay so so we will discuss this thing here okay repeatable seed okay so it specifies a seed value to make the sampling deterministic seed can be any integer value between 0 to this one and the samples will be the same as long as the table hasn't been updated okay suppose that you have given a seed number so basically a seed is you can say it is an identifier only okay suppose that you you have a hundred rows okay and you have just queried the 10 percent of the data from that table and you have used the row method for just extracting the 10 percent of the data from that 100 percent of the table okay so you will get 10 10 rows now 10 rows from that 100 records okay so and whenever you will give some of the seed number okay then whenever you will just query the 10 percent again then you will just get that same data and whenever you will not work with the seed then you will get different different rows okay suppose that uh, there is a hundred records and you are just attracting 10 uh, 10% of the data so first time it will uh, just get 10 rows different and another time when you whenever you will fire the same query then it will just give you some different data and whenever you will just uh, again execute the same query for the 10% then it will give you some the, the different data so 10 10% it is just it will 
whenever you will not work with the seed then it will uh, give you some different different type of data whenever you will execute that query again and again uh, then it will just give you different different data suppose that in the first time it is giving 10 rows from 1 to 10 and in, whenever you will uh, you are firing the same query again then it is taking from 80 to 90 rows and whenever you are firing the query again then it is just extracting the data from 60, 50 to 60 okay so uh, without working with the seed without specifying the seed keyword you will get just different recalls again and again when you will fire the same query okay and if you want to query the same type of data again okay suppose that you have just queried one data and you got the 10 rows okay and you want that uh, this 10 rows should come again okay so you can just give the identifier to that 10 rows that is seed 1 or you can give seed 1 seed 2 seed 100 like that you can give the identifier to that 10 rows and whenever you will just query this query the same query means whenever you will fire the same query then you will get the same type of data again okay that same 10 rows you will get again okay so this is basically the seed we use basically seed for the identifier purpose okay and seed value can be any from 0 to this one you can just give any type of value okay the sample will be the same as long as the table hasn't been up updated okay the sample whenever you are working with the seed then whenever you are firing the same query again and again you will get the same type of rows okay same rows you will get again and again okay and if you will change uh, change the data in the table then you, you may get the different data but if the table data is not being updated then you will get the same type of data whenever you will fire the same query again and again okay so basically overall the seed we use for the identifier only okay you can say identifier okay so that's all about the seed and we will better understand these things when we will do the practical okay and you can uh, give the sampling method like that with sampling method you can give Bernoulli or you can give system or block okay and probability or number of rows specify whether to sample on the fraction or the fixed number suppose that you want to uh, query the data in the fractions you can give like sample and the bracket you can write 10 and suppose that you want to query the data for the 10 rows you can just write 10 rows and you have to uh, suppose that if you are working with the fixed number of rows you want to extract the fixed number of rows then you can just write 10 rows and you have to write this row keyword okay and if you don't want to uh, get the data in the fixed number of rows you want to extract the data in the fraction then you can just write 10 okay it will be just obviously that 10 means it is a 10 percent of the data you want from that table and if you write 10 rows keyword if you will write so it is just obvious that you want 10 rows from that table okay so this is basically the syntax and what is fraction uh, extracting and what is this uh, fixed size fraction uh, extracting and what is this repeatable or seed okay so that's all about this and now let's uh, move ahead and let's uh, see some of the examples uh, then we will better understand this thing okay so there are some of the examples we will uh, understand these examples as well but uh, we will do the practical then uh, we will better understand this thing okay so here is a one example select a stick from table name sample row 10 okay so you are just getting this uh, you are using here row or Bernoulli method for extract for extracting the data suppose that you have 100 rows in in this table where i this is a basically the table name okay in the 100 rows okay so if you will use this bernoulli or row method then you will just get the 10 percent of that 100 okay means you will get 10 rows okay you can see it will return a sample with 10 percent of the rows okay and whenever you will block you will use this block uh, sample block 20 so uh, suppose that there are 100 records so it will just return a sample with the data from the 20 blocks as we have seen the data is being stored in the micro partitions okay there are six, 600 micro partitions and you are you are extracting 10 percent so it will just return 60, 60 micro partitions data okay so if you will get this thing a uh, block 20 so it will just return the 20 blocks of that of the data okay and whenever you will use the system 10 or seed so system 10 and seed so it i am working with system okay you can use system or you can use block both are same or you can use row or the bernoulli both are same okay so I am just extracting the 10% uh, of the blocks from the 100 and I am just giving the seed identifier name as triple one. Okay. So whenever you will fire this query again, then you will get the same number of rows, which uh, same number of rows and same data because we have just given the seed triple one. Okay. So seed triple one is basically acting as an identifier. Okay. We will better understand this thing when we will do the practical. Okay. And right here, uh, I have just uh, written this syntax wrong, table name and table sample. So I have to just uh, you can use this table sample or you can just write sample as well as well okay so i have to remove this thing this is basically the wrong syntax which i have removed. 
given here okay so we will remove that thing okay so table sample you can just use this table sample keyword or you can just use a directly sample okay so table sample handed so you are just extracting all type of all rows means you will get 100 percent of the data from that table okay so it returns an entire table including all rows into that sample okay suppose that you want to uh, as you are doing the select a stick from the table and you are just getting all the data okay so this is like that way okay if you will give the uh, row value or the fraction value 100 then it will just return all the data which is present in that table whether it is 1 million 2 million 5 million all data will be returned extracted okay and select a stick from sample 0 0 means it will just return the empty sample and there is a no need if if i want to do the sample then why i will get the zero okay so this is basically the if you will give the value of the fraction here zero so it will just return an empty sample okay select a stick from table name sample 10 rows so this is basically the fixed size extracting okay 10 rows so it will just return the 10 rows from that table okay whether that table is having 1 million record or 10 million or just a 100 rows okay so for this is basically uh, the fixed size sampling okay returns a fixed size sample of 10 rows okay so it will just return you 10 rows from that table okay so this is basically about this uh, some of the examples of the sampling okay so now let's uh, move ahead okay and now let's understand this thing okay why sampling when cloning is available okay and as i have discussed about the zero copy cloning and the time travel and all of the concepts we have discussed in the previous session suppose that there is a cloning is also available why, why, why cloning so we are doing working with the cloning we are just cloning any of the database any of the schema or any of the table so what cloning is the cloning is just capturing the a snapshot of that table whenever you are just cloning any of the database or the schema and it is not it means it is not costing you the money as well it is just storing the snapshot okay so cloning is already available to us then why sampling came into the picture okay so now let's understand this thing okay so if you query a clone table suppose that you have cloned any of the table and you are just querying on that table okay so what it will do it will just move to the remote disk wherever your disk is stored now of the snowflake okay so whenever you are just querying the data you are doing the sample of the data you are just querying from the uh, cloned table then it is uh, there is no need for the clone okay so uh, that cloning table is all uh, cloning table data is stored on the remote disk only and whenever you are just querying any of the data from that cloned table then that query will just trigger the notification to the clone table and clone table will just fetch the data from the uh, it's remote layer only where there is a local disk stored and it will just scan all of the records suppose that there is 1 million records in that cloned table so it will just move to the remote disk and it will just scan all 1 million records and it will fetch you the data like that way okay so let's read this thing okay if you carry a cloned table it will touch the actual big data maybe from the production every time and so more compute cost okay so there is basically more compute cost will also be there because if you are firing the query again and again okay and the query is just moving to the uh, remote disk and it is just fetching the data from the local disk which is a uh, means where date all the data is being stored okay so what it is happening it is just scanning all of the data which is present in the remote disk and by this way remote uh, that uh, compute cost will also be more okay and it will take some time so compute cost will also be there that's why we are not dealing with the cloning okay and we have also discussed about the result sketch and the local disk sketch okay uh, you can watch those sessions the link will be given in the description box okay there we have discussed about this okay for this uh, you must be knowing about the snowflake architecture that how snowflake architecture clustering and where is the remote disk and where is the service layer and all those things are stored okay so then you will better understand this thing that uh, why sampling when cloning is available okay so if we are dealing with the cloning uh, then it will just move to the remote disk again and again it will fetch the data from there and it will uh, cost you the more computed cost and it will take some more time in fetching the data from that okay that's why we don't use this cloning okay and whereas sampling creates a smaller data set and so less compute cost okay and whenever you are just extracting the sample of the data in the fraction or the fixed number of rows then it is just creating the some smaller smaller data sets and by this way there is a some of the less uh, less compute cost will also be there while comparison with the cloning okay obviously storage cost is cheaper than compute cost okay 
स्टोरेज कॉस्ट इज सपोज दैट वॉट इज द डिफरेंस बिटवीन दिस स्टोरेज कॉस्ट एंड द कंप्यूट कॉस्ट ओके सो स्टोरेज कॉस्ट मीन वॉट एवर डेटा यू आर जस्ट स्टोरिंग ऑन द स्नो फ्लेग मीन्स रिमोट डिस्क और द लोकल डिस्क ओके सो दैट इज जस्ट स्टोरेज कॉस्ट मीन्स योर डेटा इज बींग जस्ट स्टोर्ड देयर ओके एंड फॉर द कंप्यूट कॉस्ट मीन्स यू आर जस्ट फायरिंग द क्वेरी अगेन एंड अगेन यू आर जस्ट एक्सट्रैक्टिंग दैट सम डेटा यू आर जस्ट डिलीटिंग द डेटा यू आर डूइंग अपडेशन और वट यू आर जस्ट परफॉर्मिंग लॉर्ड्स ऑफ क्वेरीज ओके सो एंड दोज क्वेरीज आर रनिंग फॉर द lots of time uh, means uh, they are just taking more time as well okay so that's why compute cost is basically more uh, while comparison with the storage costs okay so that's why it is written here storage cost is cheaper than the compute cost okay so we can use the sampling instead of cloning in the scenarios like this uh, where we need a small data set for our testing or the dev environment dev work okay so we can use the sampling method instead of doing the cloning and in the scenarios where we use basically the data set for our testing analysis or for any of the development work okay so we use basically the sampling only we 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 don't clone any of the table any of the database or like that because it is whenever we will work with this then query will scan all the data and it the, this will just increase the compute cost okay so this is basically that why sampling and why when cloning is already available okay so that's all for today's session for the sampling of the data that how we can just get the sample of the data by using the fraction fraction of the data and by just uh, extracting fixed records okay and how to use this bernoulli or row method or how to use the sample and block and what is seed or repeatable okay so we have discussed all those things if you have any doubt then you can ask or uh, we will discuss all those things in the practical then you will better understand this thing and the practical link will be given in the description so you can watch that session as well okay so that's all for today's session meet you soon in the next very interesting tutorial and in the next tutorial we will do the practical of the sampling and we will see that how can we get the sample of the data from the table okay and we will also compare the sampling with the cloning as well okay so that's all for today's session and it's better to watch the second practical session of the sampling as well okay the link will be given in the description box only okay so that's all